Hey everyone, it's Anna. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. As I was pulling out cards for my um, Christmas card share for my handmade cards that are in my stash, um, I noticed I had a lot of tags. So I'm going to do a separate video to uh, feature the tags. Um, I think including it in the Christmas card share would just make it uh, too long of a video and you may just be interested in tags. So let's go ahead and take a look at the tags that I have in my stash that I've made previous years and either didn't get used um, or I made multiples of and had some leftovers. Um, so starting off, this cute little polar bear tag was made using the Impression Obsession Bear die and um, made him into a polar bear just simply by die cutting him out of white cardstock. And then I added a heart here from the sewing accessories die set. And then I added a bow tie and a little Santa hat um, from one of the critter accessories. And then a little piece of holly here under a red button. And I did add a little pom-pom here for his hat. And it has little glitter um, bits on it. So I think he is adorable. This tag base is also from Impression Obsession. You'll see me use this a lot. It's one of my favorite stitch tags. Uh, there's this tag here. So you can see I use the same um, tag base. And this is the panda bear die from Impression Obsession. And again, I turned him into a polar bear simply by die cutting him out of white cardstock. Um, just to kind of show the versatility of the panda die and the uh, bear die itself. So he has a different Santa hat on that's also available from Impression Obsession and a different heart here as well. And then I actually put a ribbon scarf on him. So I think he's adorable. Really cute. Here's um, a tag that I made using that same base, um, but this is actually using um, art and sentiment from uh, Julie Ebersole for Ellen Hudson. And I think this tag is really, really cute. I love her sentiments. I love Julie's sense of humor. Here's a tag that I made. Uh, it's just a simple um, cup of cocoa with some whipped cream on top. And then I like the stitching detail on this particular mug. And this also comes with a little tag um, that you can use like a tea bag. So I guess this would be tea, technically, um, since there is a tea bag hanging from the cup. But uh, And then I added that cute little enamel heart there as well. Um, here's a tag that I had left over from one of the um, hot cocoa um, jars that I've made up in the past, and this was for vanilla flavored cocoa. And so what I'll do is I'll, I'll make some homemade chocolate and add it to a jar, and then we'll give it to friends and family. Um, and then I stamp the back of the tag with a to from stamp. And then I gave it a really good, pretty spritz of glitter. So... And so this is just a little extra one. And I use um, some um, alphabet stamps that I have in this really fun old typewriter font to do all my text. So I love making these. Um, here's another tag I made with that Julie Ebersole die, or a stamp set from Ellen Hudson. Um, so the stamp set actually has coordinating dies. And then I use that same tag base, you'll see. Here is a tag I made using that same tag base. It's a favorite of mine for sure. I'm using that coffee cup or that uh, cocoa mug again. Um, this time I added some of the pine sprig there from Impression Obsession and I added two of my little gingerbread cookies and set everybody um, up on a little paper doily. And this tag actually is black. You probably can't see it very well against my black background, but. So really cute. I love this paper as well. Here's another tag, same tag base. <laughs> um, this is using a penny black um, stamp. I can't remember the name of the stamp. Um, and then I stamped some of my whippersnapper text um, in the background there just to give some visual interest. And I added lots of glitter glue to this particular tag. So it's really beautiful, not only with the glitter up here, um, but with the glitter on the image as well. Then here is a tag made using my golden retriever um, die set. And I love this die set. This tag, um, or this um, die was made in honor of my um, golden retriever, Mr. Farley, that I had a long time ago. So he's a, he was a very handsome boy. And then this is um, my Labrador retriever die set. I'm getting all tangled up here. And this die set was made in honor of my chocolate lab, Miss Daisy. So they make for cute little tags. Um, here is a tag made with the mitten from Impression Obsession. I love how it die cuts all the different detail out of the uh, mitten. 
And then I added some stitched holly also from Impression Obsession. And this is like a mini tag or mini card tag. Um, I threaded the button and actually punched a, a hole here in the back so you can actually attach it um, with the twine like that. Um, here's one I made with a image from High Hopes rubber stamps. And I love this um, soldier. I think he's adorable. The artist of this particular image is Chrissy Armstrong. And this one actually opens. How does this open? Oh, you have to untie it. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, and it's a gift card holder. Look at that. <laughs> so cool. Now I'll have to tie that back again, but really fun, easy thing to do. Here is a tag that's also sort of an ornament that I made using a big Sizzix die. And this is a really old Sizzix die. This is one of the ones where it doesn't actually come with separate pieces. The separate pieces are noted by like stitch lines. And so if you die cut it multiple times, then you can cut those individual pieces out and paper piece them back in onto the um, base shape. So you can see there that I cut the image twice and so I was able to adhere the hat and the scarf twice. So actually I think the scarf was there three times. But really easy to do. This candy cane I made myself just by twisting a white and a pink chenille stem together and then forming it into the shape of a candy cane. So, and she is covered with glitter. <laughs> and then on her I've also added another tag so it's a tag with a tag created by Anna White. And this is one of my little tea dyed tags. My hand is cramping. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> um, <laughs> here is a tag that I made with the Sizzix Gingerbread Boy. Um, this is the one that has the little hearts cut out of his belly. And I made uh, the candy cane here myself out of a red and white chenille stem. Um, you can either tea dye these. This one I actually just rubbed. Um, it looks like I just rubbed it with some like vintage photo distress ink. And that will um, make it look a little more vintage as well instead of being so bright white. Um, I added a little um, uh, scarf around his neck with some cute green ribbon. And I added some little embellishments here with a really fun button. And this is the tag base here is one from um, Paper Tray Ink. And then he has a tag as well, a little tea dyed tag um, created by Anna White. And then the back side is um, another really nice um, die cut tag. Um, so it's nice on the front and back. And I like tags that are like uh, that are like this. They will ha they need to be symmetrical. So when you die cut it, you can use the back of the tag back to back with another one, and then it's nice on both sides. So I try and do that with most of my dies. Um, here's another tag made with the um, paper tray ink um, base tag and this is my snowman die from Impression Obsession and again I made another chenille candy cane and he also has a little tag so really cute I made these for some friends last year and was able to send them out and I have a couple extra and then here's a couple tags um, three of them actually that are made with my Saint Nick die set from Impression Obsession. And I love, love, love this die set. They make the cutest Santas. So here's three different ones. And I made a whole series of these last year as well. And sent these out to some friends. And I think they turn out so cute. There's actually a video on my channel, uh, my channel where I show how to make these, I think. So, aren't they cute? Look at that little chenille stem there. So those are the Christmas tags that I have in my stash to use this year. Um, so it looks like I'm almost set for everything. I wouldn't actually need to make very many more this year. Um, so that's kind of exciting um, to be so far ahead. And um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this share. I hope maybe you found some inspiration here and um, can maybe incorporate some of these techniques and designs into your tags this year. So thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.